This video contains topics of violence, death, and murder. Viewer discretion is advised. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist is one of the most notorious and baffling art thefts in history. It took place on March 18, 1990 at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston, Massachusetts. The stolen artwork has never been recovered and the case remains unsolved, making it one of the greatest mysteries in the art world. Here are some of the key details and analysis of the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist. The museum is a renowned art museum known for its collection of European, Asian, and American art. The museum was founded by Isabella Stewart Gardner and opened to the public in 1903. The heist took place in the early hours of March 18, 1990 when two men disguised as police officers entered the museum and claimed to be responding to a disturbance. Once inside, they overpowered the security guards and tied them up. The thieves spent about 81 minutes in the museum and stole 13 pieces of art, including works by Vermeer, Rembrandt, Manet, and Degas. The estimated value of the stolen artwork is around $500 million. Vermeer's The Concert, one of the most valuable pieces stolen, was this one, a masterpiece that remains missing. The loss of such an iconic and rare work has left a void in the art world. Other stolen works include Rembrandt's Storm on the Sea of Galilee and a lady and gentleman in black Manet's Chez Tortoni and Degas' La Sortie de Passage. Despite numerous investigations and efforts by the FBI and various law enforcement agencies, the case remains unsolved. The stolen artworks have never been recovered, and the perpetrators' identities are still unknown. The museum has left the empty frames of the stolen artworks on display as a poignant reminder of the heist. The museum has offered up to $10 million for information leading to the recovery of the stolen art. Some speculate that the heist was carried out by a criminal organization or individuals connected to the black market for stolen art. There are theories as well that suggest the involvement of individuals with knowledge of the museum's security system leading to suspicions of an inside job. Another theory proposes that the stolen artwork may have been destroyed or damaged beyond recognition to eliminate evidence. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist had a profound impact on security measures in museums worldwide. It highlighted the vulnerabilities of an even well-established institutions and prompted increased security protocols. The case continues to captivate the public's imagination with ongoing interest from both the art community and the general public. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist remains a fascinating and unresolved mystery, leaving many questions about the fate of the stolen masterpieces and the identities of the perpetrators. The case serves as a reminder of the challenges in recovering stolen art and the importance of a robust security measures in protecting cultural treasures. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist remains unsolved and identities of the perpetrators are unknown. Over the years, there have been various theories and speculations about potential suspects, but no one has been identified definitively or charged in connection with the heist. Some theories 
have suggested the involvement of organized crime, while others proposed the possibility of individuals with inside knowledge of the museum's security systems. However, law enforcement agencies have not publicly named any specific individual suspects. It's important to note that the investigation into the heist may have developed further, but there has nothing been come out to publicly name any particular person in the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist. The investigation into the heist involved multiple law enforcement agencies and various investigators have been associated with the case over the years. Here are some of the key individuals and agencies associated with the investigation. The FBI. The FBI has been the primary federal agency involved in the investigations since the heist occurred. Special agents and teams from the FBI's art crime team have been actively working on the case. Anthony Amor. Anthony Amor has been the head of security at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum since 2005. He has played a prominent role in keeping the case in the public eye and advocated for the recovery of the stolen artwork. Jeff Kelly. Jeff Kelly served as the special agent in charge of the SBI's Boston office during the investigation. Tom Mashberg. Mashberg is an investigative journalist and has been actively covering the Gardner Museum theft for many years. His reporting has provided valuable insights into the case. Stephen Kirkjian. Stephen Kirkjian is a journalist and author and has covered the Gardner as heist extensively. He wrote a book titled Master Thieves, the Boston Gangsters, who pulled off the world's greatest art heist, providing insights into the crime and its investigation. The Boston Police Department. Local law enforcement, including the Boston Police Department, has also been involved in the investigation. It's important to note that the nature of this investigation has led to collaboration between various individuals and agencies, as well as experts in the field of art crime and law enforcement. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist has been a high profile case with ongoing efforts to solve and recover the stolen artwork. The Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum heist remains an unsolved mystery and much of the specific evidence related to the case has not been publicly disclosed due to the ongoing nature of the investigation. However, here is some general information about the evidence and circumstances surrounding the heist, which is available to the public. The video footage. The museum had security cameras, but the footage from the night of the heist was not sufficient to identify the thieves. The quality of the video and the angles of the cameras were not optimal. Empty frames. The stolen artworks were removed from their frames, leaving them empty, hanging on the walls. The frames now serve as a poignant reminder of the missing masterpieces. Perpetrators' disguises. The thieves entered the museum dressed as police officers, wearing uniforms with badges. However, the disguises did not reveal their true identities. Artwork descriptions. Detailed descriptions of the stolen artworks, including dimensions, provenance, and images, were disseminated to the public and the art community to aid in the recovery. 
witness statements. Statements from the museum staff, as well as any potential witnesses who may have seen suspicious activities or individuals in the vicinity of the museums around the time of the heist were collected. Analysis of the crime scene. Forensic experts and investigators examined the crime scene for any physical evidence that could provide clues about the identity of the thieves. It's important to note that many of the details about the evidence are not publicly disclosed to protect the integrity of the ongoing investigation. The lack of public information on specific evidence has contributed to the mystique and intrigue surrounding the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum heist. Over the years, investigators and the public have explored the various theories and speculations regarding the motives behind the heist and the potential identity of the perpetrator. However, these theories have not led to any definitive conclusions. <laughs>